Hey, ho, let's go. Hi. Welcome. For the eagle-eyed amongst you, you've noticed that we have changed angles. That's the word. This is because we had um, a mental breakdown today. I spilt my coffee all over my computer. We are using my phone this time because um, there are still some bits of my computer drying out. So we are on day two of the pattern. So where I got up to last time was, I think I'd finished the front and I'd moved on to the back and then I realised that, yeah, I realised that the <laughs> armhole was missing off the front and yeah, I was really annoyed about that and had a little huff and puff and then I went to bed. So, I pretty much done the front and the back, I just needed to add that armhole in. So these two images are just where I got up to, so they are the front and the back piece. And then it's a breakdown of all the front pieces as well. I went on to cutting out the interfacing. Interfacing is like a stiffener fabric for your waistcoat, tails coat. Get the garment right and like that. Jeez, you're meant to be a costumer. The tails coat it has interfacing in it because it's meant to be like stiff and formal. That being said, I started cutting out the interfacing. This is when it sunk in properly. I think this was the end of day one slash beginning of day two. And the hole for the second armhole was missing. So I was like... So here I am, little innocent gal thinking, oh, you know, I'll just cut this interfacing out. Everything's okay. Little does she know. I'm adding the seam allowance on there using a water soluble marker. Fancy! So I just, um, I sliced a pattern um, piece off as well because um, it was underneath that. I usually do that actually, usually with headphones. The music just stops and I'm like, uh oh. Okay, here's where it starts dawning on me. I'm like, oh, the hole's missing. drawing in the wadding oh come on me you've got you've got to notice at some point this is a part that I did not I didn't want to give much thought to because I thought I just keep putting it off it'll disappear you guys know what I'm talking about that that doesn't that doesn't happen now so the armholes I thought that this is my thinking, okay, inside Alexa's brain. I will just do four sleeves. Simple, right? Four sleeves, it works. Just same sleeve, four sleeves. Hell no. Fate was just like, I disagree with that statement. You cannot do that. Because I originally cut out in calico. Calico is like a cheaper fabric. It's a cheap fabric. I cut it out of that because I was like, I'll just see what it looks like. And I'm glad I did that because the sleeves for my tails coat, they have like a puffed sleeve, I guess you'd say. It's where it's gathered at the top and it has a bit of, bit of volume to it. It's like, ooh, fancy. That is to accommodate the shoulder pads and the shaping of the time period because the, the way our shoulders slope down, 
it would have a shoulder pad that meant it kind of broadened your shoulders straight so it gave you a different silhouette that being said they have little gathers on their sleeve and that meant because there's no shoulder pads down here you see where i'm going with this so it ended up too voluminous full of volume of muchos volume it didn't sit properly on well i'm doing it on a mannequin and the way it sits the second pair of arms get in the way of the top pair of arms and it kind of makes them sit diagonally out there is an image because that was poorly described so i was like i'm gonna have to redraft this sleeve head on i so we get on to the armholes so this is the main twirl without the secondary armhole so stupid so i'm just drawing on the second one here i'm trying to make it look like it belongs there by you know doing some fancy tape measuring the truth is i don't know what i'm doing but drawing in the armhole i seem to be a pro at drawing in armholes it's like one of my favorite pastimes alexia you're so sad so here we are on the arm i'm just taking all the pins out so i can sew them together and see what they look like So the piece on the table there is the under sleeve, under sleeve, the bottom of the sleeve, you know what I mean. And I'm just sewing together the underarm and the overarm. So in the other one. Okay, here we go. Putting the armholes on the pattern. So I just did two identical sleeves the first time. And obviously it fits the top hole because it's made for the top hole. So I'd be a bit worried if it didn't but the second one it was just puffing out and you can see that kind of flare that gradient i didn't want i didn't want it restricting the top sleeve or affecting the drape of the top sleeve so i cut out that second armhole so that i could get to shaping a different arm. So being the bright spark that I am and not having much experience with drafting outerwear, I was like, you know what I'll do? That would be a great idea. See if I just like snip out the top, it'll give me, you know, like how much I need to take out. And then I was like, and then I'll just put a panel in to produce the seam. And I was like, that is literally just filling the gap that you've just cut out. So I was like, oh geez. I was like, you, my girl, you need a big, big mocker. So this was, this was the amount that I cut out and I was like, that's how much needs to be reduced. You, you can see, you can see my errors. I just added the fabric back in. Why you do this to yourself? Why are you so stupid? So this is what the armhole looked like when I snipped into the secondary armhole. That's how much I wanted taken out of the sleeve head so that it didn't interfere with the top sleeve and this image shows how much needs to be taken out the sleeve head so that it sits better on the garment 
so I'm just taking the seam allowance off the patterns because I had learned that in costume we don't actually have seam allowance on our pattern pieces. I came from a fashion background so we usually add seam allowance and sew them together but I found it really interesting actually that in costume we don't do that because if they are slightly broader or slightly smaller in stature the person you're modelling to you would need that leeway in the seam allowance to add or subtract the fabric in to make it fit better. So I'm just tracing off that pattern piece that I've just drawn without the seam allowance in. But this is the idea of split and spread technique to either reduce or increase volume in you can use it on many different things but I used it in the the sleeve head that this is the, this is the sleeve head this is where it goes with the split and spread I drew a line across the top so where I wanted to decrease from and you cut down it, so I just drew straight lines. Uh, I think it's pretty random intervals, which I don't think you're meant to do. Do not take my word on that. I am not a pro at this. I just did them straight down, right to the very edge, like where it can't even hang on for dear life anymore. That's how close you need to be to cutting it off completely. And then you just pull it in. So this one was straight like that and I slit it right down to the line and I just pulled it over slightly and taped it down so as you can see there is a gap here so you do need to redraw that arc um, so that it doesn't have any weird looking gaps in it it worked really well I was really really happy with it so that is the pattern piece for the arm that is the sleeve head once it's been butchered and chopped up and repositioned. So I'm just doing the new pattern now. Um, you can see the altered pattern there with all the tape on it. Poor pattern piece. And I'm just drawing out that new pattern. Smoothing off that sleeve head where all the, the gaps are in. Everything smells of coffee. So if, if you just see me just randomly sniffing things, I... Okay. So, end of day two. I think it went okay, considering, you know, like I'm very stressed and I'm like a mouse in a microwave. The split and spread method worked wonderfully. And I'm really happy with how my toile 
has turned out. So I'm going to be going ahead and cutting those real pieces out now. I need to start the wing. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.